Hello, Craig Howard here. Um, I was reading something this morning that kind of made me think about something else. Um, I, I was reading about this Texas judge who decided he wanted to run for the Texas, Texas Supreme Court, wanted to be on the ballot. And uh, so just like people do these days, he posted on his website that he was going to run for the Supreme Court. Um, he, he hadn't filed the papers yet, or he, he was getting ready to file the papers, uh, but he went ahead and made this public announcement, and when he did that, <clears throat> he was unaware of a law, of a Texas state law, um, because the Texas Constitution is so massive, uh, he was unaware of this one law that said basically once you announce publicly that you're going to run for this office, you have to let go of the office that you're in. So he had to, he basically fired himself when he announced on the internet that he was going to be running for the Texas Supreme Court. And he, ple you know, he went before the Judiciary Committee and, and so forth and pleaded with them. You know, please don't make me give up my job just yet. I made a mistake. I didn't realize that that uh, you know that I couldn't announce it on the internet. But they told him no. They said, you know, the law's the law, and you announced it. And it made me think about how easy it is for people today to say things or do things online. Um, I mean, we did we did it before there was ever the internet. You know, we, we would say things we shouldn't say. <clears throat> we would speak out of turn. You know, that's nothing new. But it seems like it's expounded today because the internet makes it so easy to pop off. The internet makes it so easy to say things and do things that we shouldn't do that we need to give a little bit more thought to. You know, the Bible says over in James chapter 1, verse 19 it says so then my beloved brother let every man be swift to hear slow to speak in other words it says we really should think about what we're going to say we really should think about what's what's coming out of our mouth we really should think about what we're going to do before we say it he says be swift to hear be a good listener but be slow to say something because you need to make sure you think it through. You need to make sure you're saying what you want to say, the way you want to say it. I think sometimes today we, in, in this age of internet technology where just like I'm doing right now, it's so easy to put something out there on the internet and it's out there forever. Now more than ever, we need to give thought to what we're saying. There's a lot of good stuff on the internet. I hope my devotions are one of those things that are good. Uh, but there's also a lot of stuff that people have put on there, uh, comments that people have made about other people on Facebook or uh, or on Twitter or, or on Instagram or something. People say something about someone in the heat of the moment, not realizing how badly it could hurt and how much it's going to damage their own image. People get on uh, one of these social media outlets and they rant and they rave about something that happened, uh, sometimes even accusing people when they probably should have waited and got more facts together. Well, this is just a quick thought this morning. My battery's about dead, so I'm going to keep this short. But I hope you have a great day today, and I hope you'll think about what you're going to say. And before you ever put it online, Stop and think. Stop and pause. It might save you some grief on down the road. I hope that you have a wonderful day today, and I hope your day is just filled with blessing, and I hope it's also filled with ample opportunities to think about what needs to be said. You have a great day. God bless.